Hello, it's got a ukulele review day. Uh, this is what I've been looking forward to doing. Um, there's been quite a lot of buzz on my ukulele group about this one lately and all over ukulele underground um, and that's because of the price but we'll come on to that this is an instrument from a brand called Enya Chinese brand they're the parent company of a company called Kaka which I didn't really like um, but this is their part of their X1 series of instruments that are all made from HPL high pressure laminate that's the same material that the Martin OX series are made from there's no wood in it whatsoever there's no wood in this it may look like wood it's basically sheets of paper in a resin very hard very strong very sounds like wood and that's an outer graphic it's just a photograph uh, of some koa it's what Martin used Martin had been using it in their guitars for a while and it's becoming really popular because it's an alternative to wood because timber is becoming more restricted and more scarce on the planet as we as we grow as a population so full marks for that so this is part of a range of their x1 series they do them through the different scales some with pickups this is the entry level it is the eur dash x1 and it is quite the looker uh, this is called a camp style ukulele based on original 1920s camp ukuleles by brands like Lion and Healy and Gretsch I really like the style a very traditional looking thing looks like it's difficult to hold it isn't um, but it's really nice so this is HPL and you can see the black of the edge of the HPL there that's put together in in a traditional way it's braced and 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 curved and that kind of thing but it HPL top single piece HPL sides and a slightly arched curved HPL back uh, it's light it's strong it's resonant um, strap button rosewood uh, through bridge there nice design the through bridge means you put the strings through the holes pull them out the sound hole tie knot in them and pull them back compensated bone saddle and in due course this rosewood is going to be changing to rich light which is paper composite as used by blackbird uh, braced really neatly tidily uh, notch curving it's really nice inside you know and your logo embossed there in the wood and on the neck block no no problems with the construction this is just impressing me in the same way as that the martin ox did it is solid it is not cheap at all uh it's really interesting things get even more interesting when we get up to the neck this is made of mahogany three pieces joint at the heel joint at the headstock and that strap button is actually a bolt um so it's a bolt on neck but it's not bolted from the inside it's bolted from the outside and that's because then you supply these with an allen key you can take that bolt out you can adjust the neck up and down for re for relief and action of the strings you can take the neck off completely and swap it for another scale neck or a neck with a different headstock now i've never felt the need to want to change the neck on my ukulele but i must admit i think it's kind of cool uh i quite like the idea um even better rosewood fingerboard on the top there that is got rolled edges that's really unusual at the price uh, that this is at that means that the edges are kind of chamfered off and curved it means that they're really comfortable when you play it and that comfort is uh, added to by the fact that it's also radiused that means it's got a very slight curve over the top of it as well again something you rarely see on ukuleles but you're seeing it on this one 16 nickel silver frets 12 to the body that's fairly standard nice wooden inlaid star position markers there at 5 7 10 and 12 and they're repeated on the side with dots you know that that fingerboard is wonderful the neck is wonderful bone nut incidentally the setup on this at the saddle and the nut are perfect uh, and i've spoken to a few people who've had these bearing in mind these are coming direct from the factory in china and not going through a dealer and the setup on everybody else is, seems to be decent as well that's great news um faced uh three-pointed crown headstock there with the enya logo which is really rather attractive in inlaid pale wood okay they're geared tuners i'm not a fan of geared tuners but i quite like these ones these are plastic mounts with metal um gear work nice red buttons something about them i quite like um I'll come on to the price in a moment because what you also get with this is you get some well they say they're fluorocarbon strings they feel like nylon that either way they're horrible they're really loose on the tension and slippy and I don't like them you get a little leatherette bag there's all sorts of things in here there's a strap you've got spare strings you've got a capo there's a cloth there's some picks there's a rhythm ring there's a tuner everything you need you get a padded really nice quality 
padded gig bag with shoulder strap and pocket and it all arrives in this really nice looking sort of apple-esque box i've never seen this before and this is all looking quite expensive isn't it bear in mind the martin ox hpl is about 350 pounds um this one rrp 129 pounds about a hundred dollars and they're on offer at the moment on an initial run and it's not going to last and I picked this up for £45. People are picking these up in America for $28 with all of that gear. I mean, that's just, that's remarkable. I think it's a pretty good price at RRP, to be honest, because this it really is well made. Um, but at, at the at the reduced price, I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Just go and buy one. Um, now, to hold, feels nice. Love the feel of HPL. Nice and balanced. Very, very light. There must be a snag, and I'm afraid there is. Um, it's incredibly quiet. Um, it's got a really nice characterful tone, a tone I like. Um, it's a playful tone, it's fun, but it's just not got enough bark. Now, some people said, well, it may be the strings. They've changed the strings, it's still quiet. The problem I see is I think this bridge is set too far back. I think it's this is the most resonant part of the instrument here. You can hear it, but if I tap here near near the bridge, it's just not as resonant. So I think what's happening is the vibration from the strings are not going down into the most resonant part of the top, and it's muffling the sound. And I think it's a real shame. Now I'll play it. I've got the gain up on this, but it is very, very quiet. it's characterful it's just really quiet um see it's still sustaining it's just not loud in the first place. Very strange. Um, now, this got me thinking about the benefits of uh, volume over tone. What's more important? Well, ideally, I'd want both. Um, but people did rightly point out this is a great instrument for late night practice. This is a great instrument for traveling with. Perhaps it's a great instrument for kids. Um, it's just a great instrument, I think. I really quite like it. Um, but I can't give it the highest score because that volume is absolutely terrible but there's still something about it I like. Uh, I think the build is wonderful, and I think the price, 45 quid. Enya E-U-R-X-1, uh, I mean, certainly with the price of these on offer, I'd grab one tomorrow, I'd buy another. Um, you know what, even at the RRP, I'd probably think about getting one, so long as I was informed beforehand that the volume wasn't up to much. Um, I really quite like it. Take a look. Links in the full written review, linked at the bottom of the video. I'll be back soon. I've got more HPL coming next week as well. I mean, this is this, you're going to start seeing a lot more of this stuff. Take care. Go carefully. See you. Bye-bye.